tips on keeping an elderly hamster. So the first tip is to keep your water bottle, a house and their food close together. Elderly hamsters aren't as fond as moving as younger hamsters are. So having all the important supplies together makes it a lot easier for them to go through their normal life. My next tip is if you have a wheel that is quite heavy and hard for your hamster to run on, to change it to a hamster wheel that is a lot lighter and easier for your hamster to run on. This can be a wheel such as a flying saucer, which are easier for hamsters to run on if they get used to it, or wheels that are made a lot lighter and are basically just a lot easier for your hamster to move about on. These wheels still have to be the recommended size for your hamster so that it doesn't cause any back problems. So if you have a Syrian hamster, make sure the wheel is still suitable for a Syrian hamster. My next tip is to have softer bedding. This is to make it easier and more comfortable for your hamster to move across the bedding and to sleep in like areas for the house. So what I did is I changed from sawdust to fitch and Ralph likes it a lot more and it's a lot more softer and a lot more better for elderly hamsters. Also, if they ever fall off one of their toys that are maybe a bit high up, their landing will be a lot more softer impact because of fitch unlike it might be a bit harder if it was a wood shaving. Another tip is to have more easier toys than you would with a young hamster. So this might be ones that they don't have to climb on, etc. Luckily for Ralph, Ralph is still a very active hamster and he is three in August. But um, if your hamster is showing a lot of signs of old age, you might want to like make their toys a little easier for them to play on because to be honest, they're not going to want to play as much as they used to. My very last tip is that if you have an old hamster and it's struggling to eat, you might want to take like the more pellety items out of their food, mash them up with water and give them as a soft food, as this will be easier for them to eat and it will still give them the nutrition they want. And also to go along with that, it is a great idea to supply them with healthy, nutritional food that will help them with their old age. Um, you can give them things such as mealworms which contain a lot of protein. All these are, I think they're linseeds or flax seeds. I think they're linseeds, I'm not sure. Um, which will give them a nice coat and also help them with growing old. You can also give them millet which is also very good. And you can also treat them with more sugary treats as when they're older they do tend to lose fat a lot easier. So giving them treats like this can keep their weight on.